let's talk about some so a lot of chatter i always like having a good time talking trades talking uh conversations with fans i think it's just a good time but i'll get i'll throw some at you you give me your thoughts on what you would say from a sabers perspective and then we'll go from there so if philadelphia called and said yeah. it would take samuelson and krebs and a mid-round draft pick to get Farabee, are you answering and potentially taking that deal or are you hanging up? Okay. People are going to get mad at me, but so people see Samuelson on Twitter as a camp, as a cap dump. Honestly, people, some people think that we'd have to give like a first round pick to get rid of him. I like Samuelson. As I said earlier, I like, I think Samuelson on the back end is a bigger need than Farabee at forward. So, um, I think from a pure value perspective, if I'm Kevin Adams, I have to take that deal. If I'm the GM, I mean, Krebs, I don't really care about in a mid round pick. I don't really care about. So it's basically, it's tough. I, I don't know. I would probably say no, but I, I could see Kevin Adams saying yes to that deal. And I think Sabres Twitter would go nuts and it would be like an overwhelming yes. But me personally, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of it. Yeah, well, comment down below. I mean, yeah, I think my mock trade was, I think it was something along the lines of like Samuelson, Krebs, the second for Farabee and a fifth or something like that. So I could totally see it being even with a first. And if we did that deal, like people would say it's a better deal than the Savoy McLeod trade. So I like, that that's a completely fine mock trade in my opinion. I, I think mean, to Sanders be honest, is, guys, if I had but... if I had the preference for a Sabres perspective, I yeah, I would actually trade uh, bait the Flyers with this offer. Yeah, you know it's risky because we'll see what Buffalo is this upcoming season. But if Sabres fans are that confident, you guys like will be in the playoffs with the Fairby addition. I mean, I think maybe Kevin Mind Adams you, we have put, to put Yoki Haru in the top four if that trade went through. Well, what, this is what I'm saying, though. I'm saying put your money where your mouth is. If you're that confident, you'll make the playoffs. Attach the unprotected 2025 first to Krebs and Yoki Haru and see if Philly will take that. Oh, I don't think they would take that, but I would do that. <laughs> I would do well, that. Well, here's the thing. I, I think... Um, I think maybe the Flyers could see some untapped potential with those guys. And I mean, I'm protected first for Buffalo. Like I think even with Faraby, they're going to be a borderline team, which could end up giving Philly a top 15 pick in next year's draft. Like I'm more so looking at Philly being crowded. Uh, I think Buffalo would actually have to probably take a contract or two, maybe two contracts because Philly's right up at the 50 out of 50 contracts right now. So I think Buffalo would have to take a contract back with that trade. But I mean, that I don't one's know, interesting. dude. You look at, I don't like. I don't know what's going on in the NHL because it seemed like a couple years ago, wingers just had like no value. Like, I don't. I can't even think of any. But like Tafoli for a third, and Sharon Govich, Reinhardt was like a great player on the wing, and he got traded for a first and a seventh round goalie. I get Levi is great. Like I love Levi. I think he's could be the future, but um. Like their their value hasn't been huge. So like I think two years ago, if you give up a first for for um Farabee, it's like no brainer. Philly's taking that. But now it's like somehow they have value. So I I really don't know what's going on with that NHL trade values. Oh, it's all over the place. Um. All right, next one. If Carolina finally budges, and okay. they call Kevin Adams and say, "Fine, we'll take your 2025 first, Oslin and Krebs for Natchez." Are you answering that call or are you hanging up? I'm probably taking that one too. I like I don't really care. Like give up our prospects, give up give up the first. Krebs is an extra piece at this point. Um now a right handed shot, top six um forward, I don't really think is a huge need because we have Quinn and Tuck. But um yeah, I think when you're bringing in like a first line right winger who can help our power play. I don't know if you know, but our power play was pretty terrible last year. Not, I don't think it's because of the guys that were on it. I think it was more because like, um, can't think of the coach's name, but the coaches that the coach that ran the power play, like it was like Darlene was at the top. Thompson was over here and you just like, don't move. You just pass it between those guys. They didn't try any movement. The couple times that they did try movement, it was like, this is the best power play in the world, but 
I think Natchez would definitely help the power play. So, yeah, I would do that as well. Okay. I'm like, I'll I'll give you a heads up unless you're telling me to get rid of like Jack Quinn or Zach Benson, or like Thompson, uh, Cousins, Tuck. Like, I'll, I'll basically do like any deal involving a prospect and a first round pick. Like, I really don't care. I didn't yoke right. are you and I like I'm <laughs> elated. All right. Well, I got this one. This one actually came from a, a comment on YouTube, and oh, yeah. I, I like I said, I think this is like so out of this world not happening but i'm actually curious based on i feel like sabers fans think paterka and quinn are like untouchable which i mean i I see the merit i see why they would be untouchable um would you and again this sabers fan said with this in mind and what i'm about to say he would do this in a heartbeat for martyr (laughs) brady kachuk Mm. would you trade this is crazy, but I, I actually don't even think this in terms of value. I, I, I think it's absolutely nuts. It's not happening, but I think in terms of value, it's actually interesting. If Ottawa called and said, Hey, Brady Kachuk will be Kevin Adams. Brady Kachuk will be on your doorstep tomorrow morning. As long as Jack Quinn and JJ Paterka are, are Ottawa senators. Both. Both. <laughs> you're, getting one, you're, you're getting I one of the Brady best. Stuff. You're getting one of the best feistiest wingers in the league. Oh, I love to be a point per game guy. He's going to be next to Tage Thompson and Alex Tuck for the next 10 years. Yeah. You have to move both million dollars too, which is like, I think great for him. A great deal. Yeah. But you'd have to move both Paterka and Quinn. I think some oh, Sabres oh, fans oh. would be like, we only have to give up one of them, but I'm telling you right now, Brady Kachuk is it. Look what Matthew just did with Philly. Uh, Philly. I think, look, sorry. Look what he just did with Florida. Like I think yeah. what Matthew Kachuk just did with Florida could be like a Brady Kachuk coming soon in the next few years that's all i'm saying i would personally do it because if you like right now like this year like first of all we don't need the cap space but both of them are making entry level deals and then next year what are you paying paterka next year six high sixes seven maybe yeah and then quinn you probably give a bridge be, unless he goes off this year they're both rfas at the end of the year you're gonna have to pay both so like from a cap saving perspective like there is none so i i that one's interesting. I love Brady Kachuk. I'd probably do it, but uh, you also, yeah, it is losing a lot. Don't get me wrong. Like I think, I think Quinn could be a a thirty five plus goal scorer in this league, and I think Paterka oh, is going to be. I think Paterka is honestly. This might be a hot take, but I think Sabres fans won't think this is a hot take. I think Paterka could be a seventy point guy consistently in this league. Plus, I think yeah, I think he's hot take. I think he's going to be like a Willie Nylander. That's super hot take. That is super hot. But you take. look <laughs> look at him move up the ice, man. This guy is like the silkiest player. Like he scores goals bouncing off the gut, the goalie's head from behind the net. Like he's got like he's just fast, shifty. Like I I think there's no reason. Like he what is he like 21? 21 and he just almost put up thirty goals. Like yeah. as a second round pick too. Like that's a steal. That's a Kevin Adams policing right there but um yeah i don't know it's tough because i do like brady kachuk i like the way he plays he reminds me of a little bit uh he can fight but he reminds me a little bit of merrick vanacker who i'm like huge fan of so yeah man what and on that uh well first i just want to add to this conversation and just say that i mean yeah in that scenario like if i don't think that's ever gonna be on the table in terms of brady kachuk being traded to begin with but then not alone he, in the same never be traded that's just a, a fun conversation of like you know what if once upon a time if if any of those like top legit top wingers or top players frankly are available in the nhl i feel like you have to get aggressive like that yeah man thanks for coming on give your shout for uh what you got going on and uh taking at the end of the video guys i'll definitely get riley to to look at some of the comments we'll shoot a message on twitter things like that but uh yeah, Riley, give your uh give a little plug. Yeah, in. so my my Twitter account is Buffalytics. So if you wanna chirp me, come at me on there. I'm happy to defend myself. Most of the time I find myself uh leveling with people. But uh yeah, I'm starting uh an esports uh community event um brand in in Brantford, Ontario. So we're gonna look to uh maybe have some NHL events get get uh, like 30 people 60 people 100 people who knows and uh start building community sport events and uh bring people together so if you're interested in uh any video game um follow 
uh, at next gen underscore can C A N on uh, Instagram and Twitter. And uh, we're looking to get the ball rolling. We're looking to probably get a event going in the next couple months. So yeah. Thanks, John. Hey, of course, man. Thank you for doing that. And thanks for joining uh, some Sabres talk. We'll do this every once in a while to kind of catch up. Uh, it's definitely cool to kind of, I mean, I doing a lot of leaf stuff, but I, I like going across the league, but it's cool to kind of bring on a, on a perspective right from the team and right from the fan base. And um, I think, uh, yeah, Sabres fans will, will enjoy this chat. So from Riley, myself, John, make sure you guys subscribe, like comment, make sure you guys hit up Riley and uh, we'll talk soon. Peace.